Good day everybody. Um, today I would like to assist to connect the Growart SPF 5000 ES inverter to the Dynes 9.6 power box. Okay, so first step is let's set the needed dip setting to comply with the Growart inverter. Note that I've removed the white front panel from the battery. That is so that we can gain access to the four B4850 modules inside this power box. At the moment notice that all four battery modules is off. None of the SOC lights, running lights, is on. Um, that is because if you make changes to this setting while the battery is on, it will not change or have an effect. You have to set this while the battery is off. In this case, being a GrowWatt SPF 5000 ES inverter, we need to set the two middle dips in the on position. So generally we refer to this as 0110 or um, off, on, on, off. So the 0110 dip setting is only assigned to the master battery. The master battery will be the battery connected uh, to the inverter communication for BMS. Um, all of the remaining four modules will have the dip setting in the off position. All four dips needs to be off on all three slave batteries. It is only the master battery that has the assigned uh, 0110 dip setting assigned to it. So for this setup I'm going to use the RS485 protocol. Now uh, the normal standard networking cable pinouts will not work for this setup. So please take note that you do need to change the pinouts of the cable. Um, for this case, inverter side pin number 1 will go to battery side pin number 3 and then inverter side pin number 2 will go to battery side pin number 1. As for now, I'm not going to connect this cable as I'd like to prove something to you first. Um, currently everything is off, dip setting has been set so we can move on and switch on the inverter let's start up the battery first all SOC lights is lighting up battery is powering on fine and we can power on the inverter okay so at the moment you can see that the inverter is up and running and as per the arrow line on the display it shows you that the battery is currently giving power to the home. Um, note however it is currently set to battery type SLA. We need to change the battery type to lithium. Long press of the enter button will go down to setting number 5 which is currently on user defined USE press enter using the up and down arrows we will move till we find the LI icon press enter enter again we can set it to L01 enter and press the escape key now you can see the LI icon. Okay, so leaving it off for a moment, you now see the LI icon is on. However, the inverter cancelled power to the home. The battery is not supplying power anymore. As well as you can see, it's bouncing between error 20 and 04. Reason for that is because I did not yet give the, the inverter communication to 
the battery so this is telling you the communication between the inverter and the battery is unsuccessful so coming to the cable the cable I've made up for the inverter side which is a RS485 cable we will connect to the RS485 port of the inverter and then the battery side of the cable of the RS485 we will move to the battery okay now that the cable is connected you can see the SOC lights changed the error actually disappeared and it's starting to communicate push DC power through to the home. that is to show the communication is successful if the communication was not successful as you've just seen it will shut down and not push battery power back to the home anymore um, so currently it is up and running thank you very much